Hello everyone. We are given a permanent magnet DC motor which is initially at rest. A DC voltage of 5 volts is applied at time t equals 0. It is seen that the speed monotonically increases from 0 radians per second to 6.32 radians per second in 0.5 seconds and finally settles to 10 radians per second. We are asked to find the transfer function of the motor assuming that the armature inductance is negligible. To know more on concepts used in solving the problem, kindly refer the NPTEL Control Engineering course, Week 3, Lecture 3, by Prof. Ramakrishna Pasamarthi of IIT Madras. We will be using the following concepts to solve the problem. The general form of a first order system with a DC gain K and a time constant T is T of S equals K by 1 plus ST. Also, the time constant of a first order system is the time taken for the output that increases monotonically to reach 63.2% of its final value. Let us now solve the problem. There are multiple ways in which you can solve this problem. So we will just look at two of the ways. So we are given a permanent magnet DC motor. And a 5 volt DC input is given. So we will represent it as a step input at time t equal to 0. This is the input given. And the output is seen to be monotonically increasing, which means we will model it as an exponentially increasing output of t. And finally reaches 10 radians per second. So this value is 10. It's also seen that at 0.5 second reaches 6.32 radians per second. We have to find the transfer function of the motor. Now, since this is a monotonically increasing system, monotonically increasing output, we can represent the system. Let's say g of s equal to omega of s by v of s as a first order system. Now, the general form of a first order system is k by 1 plus st, where k is the dc gain and t is the time constant. Now, if you find both these values, we can find the transfer function of the system. Let's first calculate the DC gain. Okay. So, we need to calculate the DC gain first. So, the definition of DC gain will be limit time t tends to infinity omega of t divided by V of t since it's a type 0 system. So, this will be equal to what is the final value of omega t? 10 and the final value of V of t, 5, since it's a step input. So the DC gain is 2. Now, let us find the time constant t. The time constant of the system, the time taken for the output to reach 63.2% of its final value, so which is 63.2% of 10 radians per second. This is the final value given. So 63.2% of 10 radians per second is 6.32 radians per second. In the question, it is already given that the output reaches 6.32 radians per second in 0.5 seconds. So the question actually gives us the time constant of the system. So it is 0.5 seconds. Now, we will substitute this back. So, we will get V of S equals omega of S by V of S equals K by K by 1 plus ST. Now, we will substitute. So, the value of K was 2 and the value of T was 0 0.5. So, it is 1 plus 0 0.5 ST. 
Now, let us look at a shortcut method to solve the problem. So, first, let us look at the options again. So, the options are these are the options. Now, we know that the output of the system omega of s is the transfer function v of s times the input of the function v of s. Now, this z of s is one of these four and v of s will be phi by s. Okay. So, the final value of omega s is given to be 10. So, we will apply the final value theorem here. So, limit s tending to 0 s omega of s equals 10. We will substitute for omega of s as g of s by s times 5. So, which implies limit s tending to 0 s times e of s times phi by s equal 10. So, s and s would get cancelled. Now, we will get limit s tending to 0 e of s. I can take the phi to the other side equal to 2. Now, we will check each of the options and which of these satisfies this condition. So, we will just substitute s equal to 0 in each of the options and find if it satisfies this condition. So, if we substitute 2 in 0 in option A, so we will get s equal to 0, the answer will be 10. So, that is not the correct option. Now, next if we substitute s here, we will get 2 which is a possible correct option. Now, if you check this one, the answer is 4. This is again wrong. And if you check this one, the answer is 20. So, which is again wrong. So, the correct option is option B. So, without actually solving for the question entire directly, we can solve it like this. Looking back at the options, we find that the correct option is option B. 2 by 0.5s plus 1. Thank you.